Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the 5 most common WordPress security vulnerabilities along with their fixes. So, before starting with the security vulnerabilities, we want to talk about that even if the WordPress is secure or not. Well, by default, well, on a very basic level, WordPress is indeed secure. But like all of the other technologies that are available on the market today, WordPress has its own security vulnerabilities and threats which can highly affect your business. And according to the annual WordPress report, it has been disclosed that there were more than 1628 vulnerabilities found in only 2021. So that is why you should be wary of these commonly known security threats and vulnerabilities to safeguard your business on WordPress. So number one, we have the brute force attack. Now a brute force attack is a trial and error method. So it's just like a hacker using a dictionary or library or a guest list of usernames and password combinations. And with that dictionary, the attacker tries to log in to your admin panel using different types of combinations. So in layman terms, it's like continuously banging the door until it breaks open. So brute force attacks are difficult to execute, yet they account for 16.1% of the WordPress vulnerabilities. So 16.1% is a really high number. So how do you prevent yourself from a brute force attack? Well, the prevention against the brute force attack is really simple. You just have to create a very strong password and a very strong username. Now there are a few tips and tricks that you can do and that is to include numbers, symbols, capital letters and special characters in your username and password. After that what you can do is you can enable a two-factor authentication and a bot-like protection like CAPTCHA or something like that to safeguard your site from brute force attacks. And then finally it is always better to limit the login attempts if possible because by default, WordPress does not limit the number of login attempts that a user can make against your website. Number two, we have the SQL injections. Now, SQL injection is the old school way of web hacking. So if your website is running on a MySQL database or MySQL database that takes input from the user, then you should be wary of SQL injections. Now in SQL injection, the attacker tries to inject a program in the form of SQL into your database. Now, when that program is loaded, it can be used to get the access of your admin panel. It can be used to change the customer's database. It can even be used to provide link to other malicious websites from your website. And it can even be used to create or delete accounts. So that is why you should be wary of SQL injections. Now, what is a way of preventing yourself from SQL injections? Well, it is very simple. You just have to restrict the submission of special characters that resembles a SQL program. You may also consider using any renowned WordPress security plugin and you can always include a CAPTCHA in the final step of submission to protect your website from bots. After that, at number 3, we have cross-site scripting attacks. Now these cross-site scripting attacks are also known as XSS attacks and the vulnerability in the annual report is as high as 54.4%. Now in this most common WordPress vulnerability, the attacker targets your user's browser data instead of yours. The way the attacker can do that is that the hacker places a malicious JavaScript into the backend of a website. Now obviously the hacker does not have the access to the backend of your website. So how do you get that malicious JavaScript? Well, mostly these JavaScripts are installed into your server through unsecured or uncertified plugins or themes. So that is why you should always be wary of installing plugins and themes from non-secured vendors. So how do you protect yourself from XSS attacks? Well, always keep your plugins and themes updated to the latest version. So doing this would mean that your plugins and themes cannot be breached. If they are outdated, they can be breached very easily. And always and always do a thorough research while selecting a third-party software even if it may be a very simple theme. And lastly, another best way to prevent yourself from XSS attack is by using a web application firewall. At number 4, we have malware. Now, malware attack is a broad concept for all WordPress security developers and for all developers as well. 
Now there are two words malicious and software that are joined together to form the word malware. And as the previous vulnerability, the hacker inserts malware through outdated or fake WordPress plugins or extension. This code gives the hacker control of your site or server. He can either steal or insert any new things or do both without your notice. Now in 2021, more than 61.65% of websites fell victim to malware attacks. So how do you protect yourself against malware attacks? The main problem with malware is how to detect one. Though WordPress shows an error message if you try installing any malicious file, that is not enough. It is better to do a regular security scan through various third-party plugins or security audits. Try to list or arrange your file directories in a particular order so that you can easily find out if any new unauthorized file has been added. And at number 5, we have the DDoS attack. Now, DDoS attack is one of the most common attacks which stands for Distributed Denial of Service. Now, it is common among the rivals in a competitive field. A large volume of requests is sent to a website, thus making it very slow and sometimes even unreachable. The ultimate goal of the DDoS attack is to block the access of administrators and visitors to a particular website. The way to prevent yourself from a DDoS attack Now, the question is, how do you prevent your business from a DDoS attack? Well, in case of DDoS attacks, you cannot guard your site using plugins and softwares at a certain level. The web hosting service provider is the one who can prevent your WordPress site. So that is why it is mandatory to choose the best hosting service provider. Now that we are done with our top 5 most common WordPress vulnerabilities, I would like to tell you that there is a plugin developed by Cloud Infrastructure Services which is known as the WordPress Cloud Single Sign-On Plugin. Now this plugin provides a lot of different features and benefits such as WordPress single sign-on, security protecting your website with auto redirect to IDP, attribute mapping, auto redirect to SSO, WordPress role mapping and so much more. So make sure to check out the link in the description box for the plugin listing on the official WordPress website. And if you want to learn about the 5 common vulnerabilities of WordPress then you can simply click the link in the description box to head over to the blog post created by CIS. If this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.